So this is the fifth DIY hydrofoil that I built. Version 4 was probably like a 750 or an 800 and version 5 is more like 610. The wings and the stab are a little more high aspect. The idea was just to have something a little more agile and a little faster. The best part about building your own foils is when you test the foil for the first time. So this foil right away when I wrote it, I noticed that it has a higher low end speed. I have to go a little faster to take off and I'm just cruising at a faster speed with less effort. Also I found it much more pitch stable. The fuselage is about one centimeter longer than the V4 so I'm guessing that's the reason for it. It's more reactive when I give it input with my feet and at higher speeds I feel much more comfortable with it. When I'm accelerating down a wave for example, it's steady and I can trust it. Overall just wants to go straighter, yet it does have a little more reactivity when I give it input. As you can see in this clip, I tried to race a windsurfer just to see what happens and it was clear that the windsurfer was a lot faster than me. I got totally burnt and that was kind of uh, humbling a little bit but at the same time it really inspired me to make something even faster. So even if I enjoy this new foil a lot, there are still things I want to improve. Mainly the thickness of the wing profile and the fuselage. When I laminate the carbon on top of the blank, it gets thicker and this time I didn't make my blank thin enough which created a thicker foil than I expected. So in the future, I need to be more considerate with the thickness of the lamination. The smaller the foil gets, the more of a difference you'll get with the extra layers of carbon. For my next foil, I plan on doing maybe like a 500 with an even thinner wing profile, maybe a little higher aspect ratio, and also a little bit of a thinner fuselage. So let's see what happens in the next one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.